All right, everybody, welcome back to stream number 15 of Tunic. And um, I think it's safe to say I am never going to say we are done with this game ever again. This is the finale because that would I, I've said it on three separate occasions now. Like this is the last stream. We're at the end. This is the finale and we're still here. We're still working on secrets. Um, so last stream, we completed the final boss and got the second ending, or the bad ending, as it's um, better known. And now we are working on the secret puzzle of the uh, the tower. So we actually uncovered a secret message on yesterday's stream, uh, which said something along the lines of, do you fear the eyes the eyes of the far shore. So we went on a bit of a, um, a bit of an investi invest investigatory. Oh, I can't speak. Um, a bit of an investigation. I'll say that word. That's easier to say, right? Um, to see if we could try and work out what was going on and what we needed to do. And um, yeah, safe to say, we didn't actually find much of anything. Um, so to get the secret message, we had to do the uh, golden path in reverse, looking from within, which the from within actually meant looking as if we was in the game, looking out at the user, as opposed to the user looking in at the game, um, which we did in here. And that gave us a load of these symbols here, which eventually gave us our secret hidden message. And... Um, yeah, that's about where we are. Now, although I haven't done anything with it since last night's stream, I gave it a thought because we had like a weird dot, didn't we? In the translation. Let me um, flick over to my monitor and let me pull up my notes for Tunic. Uh, translation here we are uh oh no that wasn't did i not uh what was i looking for i've I just had a complete and utter blank i i don't know what i was looking for now <laughs> good job knock excellent stuff um, 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 um yeah i've uh I've completely forgotten what I was going to look for now. I thought, I think probably what I thought is that I had the, what I've got written on my notepad, I had written on a screenshot somewhere. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back to it. So um, along with the, the message that we just said, there was like a, there was a dot on its own. Um, see if we yeah so like this symbol here so you can see there's there's a dot at the bottom now this in the language represents that we say the vowel before the consonant but the dot is on its own now in this context the dot means reversal so you're reversing the normal way of things or the normal flow of things so I kind of thought, okay, so if we are, if that's what the dot means, can we say things backwards and does it make more sense? But that would mean we've got sure, far, the, of, eyes, the, air, fear, you, do. To me, that don't make no sense. So I'm not sure that that is the right thing with the dot. So the other thing I wanted to do, and I, I kind of briefly did this last night and I didn't really um, didn't go into too much detail at the time. I just wanted to check the language just to see whether or not like this dot appears anywhere else in the language. What's going on Mika? Hey, you doing buddy? Welcome along. 
Hope Thursday has treated you well. Uh, apart from obviously that um, Wordle disaster. Uh, I saw you uh, post, you translated your thing as well uh, on the Discord. I haven't had a chance to read it, but I definitely will um, find some time tomorrow and um, have a read. So, she has lots of dots here underneath the, the symbols, but nothing at like the end of a, uh, sorry, nothing like on its own. I mean, there's a dot there on its own. But it's a different dot to... The different dots to the dots that we see appearing underneath the symbols. All right, I'm going to just do one thing really quickly. Let me pull up my notes. I'm going to re-enter this uh, code. Uh, it's not that one. It's the wrong one. I want this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to re-enter this code because I just want to check. I, I really should have taken a screenshot of it, but I just want to check the um, like what the actual symbol looks like, just to make sure. So bear with me a minute. This will take a hot minute. Okay, so this this is this is this is the code. Excellent. All right, so it is. It is a dot. Oh man, it's unfortunate. I don't move. That's really unfortunate. Like the the snip the same key for like I think it's shift that I'd use for snipping snipping tool. Is um, also like the one that changes the um, perspective of um of that all right so i've made a copy of that um let me just save that really quickly unit folder uh alt and print screen is that does that activate snipping tool as well lb i always just use um i always use Windows Shift and S the snipping tool. Now the other thing as well I need to kind of take into consideration here is um like what's after the dot? So this symbol here. Now I translated this as K, K O. So Co. But I always like wondered, should it be like, should there be a dot here? And should it be okay? And then I kind of thought, should that dot actually be connected to this one? And is it like trying to trick me in some way? But um, the sound of your translation is correct. So co, co is correct. So it's, do you fear the eyes of the far shore something co? Alright, translation confirmed. Let's look for this O.
Okay. Um, massive distraction come inbound, but... What's this? Is this, a, is this another hidden secret squirrel thing that we haven't done? Have we done this spell? This looks like a spell. Oh, it's a treasure I got. It's good to be all here, I'll be like to remind me what I have and haven't done. This looks suspicious. Um oh, is that oh, is that the one that I did actually there? I suppose that would make sense. Yeah, that's the, the chest, isn't it? That actually appears there when you enter the code. <laughs> uh, on the manual page with the flower path drawings, there is a spell you haven't done. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Looking for dots. I don't think I'm going to find one, am I? Because all of the... Dots that are on their own seem to be actual dots without a circle in the middle. So, that's an interesting symbol as well. I haven't noticed that one before. That one's just like completely encapsulated in a. Yeah, that's. Interesting. It's like actually in like one of those like rupee kind of shapes completely. See, I know it's not like a question mark or an exclamation mark because those two punctuations are actually written with the symbols. Huh. Oh, the old, uh, the old modal windows.
Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. I mean, normally a modal is like a pop-up window, right? So you wouldn't normally open something else within a modal window. Or is it the modal? Yeah, no, you're saying that it's... Yeah, no. You said... Why is the modal window freezing? Oh, really? I've always um, only ever used like a modal window as like a, a pop-up or something that's like there. I don't think I've ever used a modal in a modal before. Um, flower path drawing. So you, is it one of these spells that you mean I haven't used? Oh, I suppose, yeah, I suppose you could have like a message, like a message box or something inside a, a modal window. But you see, I suppose that's like the difference, because if I ever need like um, a file box or a file dialogue box, that's like um, that's actually a, a type within C sharp or, or it is with in WinForms anyway. So you would just call like an open file dialogue. And then that handles everything else that goes on uh, within it. So you don't actually have to do it yourself. I suppose when you're like looking at C sharp. Um, yeah, it's it's completely different. That's interesting. Um, sorry to deviate. The Is it this one that I haven't done, which is like the same shape as the bowl? I th actually, I think I've done that. Did I do that one? Down, right, down, left, up, right, up. Oh, that, ah, now I remember you saying a while ago, actually, there is a spell that you can do once per, once per, like, every, when you visited the healing statue, there is a spell you can do once. Yeah, one per checkpoint. I remember you saying about that, actually, LB. All right, well, I didn't find anything in the manual, which is a little bit, Unfortunate. I mean, it's all right, like finding what that symbol means, though. Why is it that symbol and then like another phrase or another syllable? Something, 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 co. Can be seen by the camera? God, I never really thought about that, to be fair. that of importance
Okay. Here's something. So, that symbol, when combined with um, the other symbol, when it's at the bottom, it normally means reverse, okay? But you can't reverse anything. So, it's, it's not a letter. We know it's not punctuation. Because things like exclamation marks, speech marks, um, commas, and question marks are all, as we normally see them, next to the symbols. So we know it's like doesn't mean anything like that. Um, I can't remember this, but numbers, we know it's not numbers because numbers are written, again, like punctuation next to symbols. Now, stay with me. One thing that, or one comment that has come from LB a lot during this playthrough when we've been looking at the symbols at different times is all right hold, hold that thought a minute hold that thought i want to go check something else I was one I was gonna check. I thought there was for some reason I thought there was something to read there. Can't catch me. Hey <laughs> hey. That sign in particular is just like written in English. kind of deviated from the the train of thought I was going on there but let me get back to it real quick so one thing that's uh, we did Mika yeah we uh we actually did it after we did like the grinding for the money we actually did it first time so um yeah we've we literally we're finished with like the main game we're just on secrets now of which this one is um this one is a bit of a beast, I'll be honest. It's um, not for the faint-hearted. Uh, and LB tells me, actually, it's the 
most difficult one in the game. So, yeah, no pressure. Okay, so what I was trying to get to before was um, throughout throughout this whole kind of like looking at symbols, trying to translate what things say, etc., etc., etc. One thing that LB has mentioned quite a lot is that throughout the manual, there are, or throughout the game in general, there are occurrences of different fonts being used throughout. So here is almost a prime example where that symbol should be an O, but it's not. I mean, there might there might be literally there might be like a little tiny O, but at, at a glance, if you was glancing at this, it actually looks just like it's a it's a normal kind of full stop or a period, as the Americans call it. So. With that said, is it possible that we're not actually looking for an open dot? There's another example of it right there on the ghost. It is, is, it, is it reasonable to say that we might not be looking or, or dealing with an open circle or a circle as such, are we actually looking for like a full stop or a period? Because, and this is just like thinking out loud. If that's the case, It could just be a full stop. So we could be looking at something like, do you fear the eyes of the far shore? Full stop. Co. You know, I don't think there is like a far shore to be found in the actual game itself. Mm -hmm. Not unless there's something on the mountain that we haven't found. Because the mountain is like the only place we don't have a map for, I don't believe. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I've trawled through the manual. I mean, actually, I suppose, yes, we have. We've seen it on like, like here, for example, in this golden statue here. text next to ghost yeah that's what we was i was talking about a moment ago lb right here i mean what does that that's just say it says um that's uh i 
in in far in far shore in far shore okay hold on so okay if that says in far shore first and foremost we need to sleep this puts us into like the the ghost state I guess okay, but nothing is different here What does it mean about like the eyes of the ghost? Do you fear the eyes of the ghost? What does that one say? Um. with I don't think I have that one so I don't know what the with with B Be something O with be something um O was in tow I think yeah. And then we've got uh, R E L I And okay, with something relic, with it's looking like the ones I haven't got. Definitely sure I haven't got that one. No. The with something relic, that one says. Is that talking about the um the laurels? I can't remember like at what point, at what point did like my thing go gold? Was that like? Oh, 
Well, it's when we've got all the relics, basically, is what that's saying. But... Okay, so if, if this is like... If this talks about the shore... Where are the eyes of the shore? I guess that just takes me to allows me to fight the boss again, right? Okay. I still almost wonder, is there a way to get to the hero's grave? Like, into the middle. But anyway, to, to go back to like a previous discussion that we was having, and I completely got sidetracked. The symbol there is different because of the font. On the um, the eye in the inn, which is the first symbol next to ghost. Um, in far shore. Is it like saying, do I fear being a ghost? Because if this is like in a far shore, so being a ghost is in a far shore. But do I fear the eyes? What does it mean by... Hold on. If... Um... What if the eyes, and this is this is like completely out there. What if the eyes it's referring to are actually the dots or the the circles of the symbols uh, underneath the symbols? And if you fear the eyes, maybe the eyes need to be closed, which changes a full circle into a closed circle. With no gap in the middle. Therefore, in the far shore, does it mean anything that's got normally a open circle becomes a closed circle, which is also a period or a full stop? I know we've like mentioned the period and full stop thing before. Or is it just a case that different fonts, in different fonts, that is closed, and that is also the same as a period, whereby if this, if these periods were in a different font, they would be open. But then that would make sense because this in this font they are open here. But if you if you like look at the, like the bottom line here on normal, the same thing, the, the same symbol on that bottom appears twice on that bottom line. But it looks like one is open, one is closed. Let's let me just visit the hero's grave in what would effectively be like ghost mode. 
Um, I want to be over here, don't I? What if the floating symbols were like seven segment displays and didn't have a dedicated way to display things? What? So, like the. Hold on. I'll come back to that thought in a minute, LB. Okay. That doesn't do anything. It's fine. Um, okay, so... So what? You Are you basically saying take away the, like, the structure that we know? So I assume by like a seven segment display, you would mean like a um, like a digital eight sort of thing, right? Where you'd have four, two on each side, one on the top, one on the bottom, one in the middle. Okay. Okay, so in that case, am I, am I like, am I thinking down the right lines then that it's potentially a full stop or a period? Because reading between the lines what you're saying, if it was on like a, a seven segment display, that would mean... That although it's positioned there, it doesn't necessarily have to sit there. It's just that that's the way, it, that's where it sits because that's the only place a dot can sit on that display. Right. That's what I'm sort of reading between the lines there. Okay. Sounds like a good theory to LB. It's good enough for you. It's good enough for me. Okay. So let's then assume... That's a full stop, or a period. Do you fear the eyes of the far shore full stop co? Period co. Hold on a minute. Let me. Do you hear the eyes of the are sure? Not. Oh. oh. 
Well. Um. What if that? L no. Now that I've written this down in a long line rather than listed 1 to 12 and individually. What does that look like to you guys? Now, just just as a hunch, this would make more sense. Because we've got to remember, it's phonetic. And this is how I've written it out. I've written it out. I've written it out here in English rather than phonetically. So, so that would give me that, right? Try and position it in between LB's chat message screen there. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that looks remarkably like a web address for a .co domain. All right. Um, before before we um, before we uh, look at anything, let me just get rid of this first and foremost. <laughs> 